First tonight, it's been a year since Kimberly Kitching passed away. The senator died of a heart attack. After her passing, we all learned that she'd allegedly been bullied by several of her Labor colleagues. One of her close friends, Cameron Milner, a Labor Party operative himself, has today renewed calls for an inquiry into those accused of bullying her. I named the three women who Kitching dubbed the Mean Girls a year ago and wrote about how they treated Kitching in a series of articles. As you know, two of these women are now senior ministers in the Albanese government. Penny Wong is foreign minister and Katie Gallagher, the minister for finance. In one of the worst accusations, Penny Wong allegedly told Kitching she wouldn't understand the climate change emer emergency because she didn't have children. This remark was particularly painful for Kitching because she desperately wanted babies but hadn't been able to have any. Milner, in his column in The Australian Today, recalls the howls of indignation and the moral outrage that similar com comments about Prime Minister Julia Gillard had brought. Yet, because Kitching was the victim here, there were no ramifications for such cruelty. Penny Wong said she claimed she had apologised to Kitching for her hurtful remark. If she had, it's an apology that those closest to Kitching don't recall her ever mentioning. Kitching's husband, Andrew Lander Yu, who we're thinking of especially today, he referred to how Kimberly had been treated in his comments at her funeral. And of course, there's a lot I could say about the unpleasantness of a cantankerous cabal, not all of them in Parliament, that was aimed at Kimber. And the intensity of it did baffle and hurt her. But I hope it's sufficient to say she deserves so very much better. Kitching's death, it seems, was politically inconvenient for Albanese and the Labor Party. They didn't want to know about allegations of bullying two months out from a federal election, let alone investigate them. Penny Wong, Katie Gallagher and Christina Keneally all strongly denied the accusations of bullying that were levelled against them. But Milner says it is now time to launch an investigation and that if Penny Wong has nothing to hide and nothing to fear, then she would surely welcome an independent inquiry clearing her name. His remarks are supported by many of Kitching's other friends, including Michael Danby, former federal Labor MP, and he'll join me a little bit later on the program. Milner, as I say, is very much of the Labor Party. He's played pool with Anthony Albanese in Canberra. He was Bill Shorten's chief of staff. On the anniversary of Kitching's tragic and untimely passing, Milner writes this today. He writes, a year later, there still hasn't been any investigation. There is no desire to unearth the truth about whether bullying was at the heart of Albanese's ministerial leadership team. He says the bullying of Kimberley needs thorough investigation, especially after Wong's well-known childless comments and after Kimberley was removed from key positions, such as the Senate Tactics Committee and her demotion from the Shadow Ministry. There's a pattern of behaviour here. That Wong continues to hold her position without an investigation speaks volumes for what Labor rewards. As Albanese says, the standard you walk past. Well, Wong is that standard, and what a great public message that standard sets to anyone who has faced bullying, coercive control, racist or homophobic attacks in their lives. It tells us that in Labor, if you are powerful, powerful enough, you will never be investigated, and better still, will be called out by the Prime Minister as one of the party's best and brightest. Very strong words there from Cameron Milner today. If the Labor Party was consistent, it would certainly launch an investigation into these allegations of bullying. There's no excuse now. There's no federal election coming up. It is about time. 